All right, so uh, I wasn't planning on doing a vlog. I don't have my proper gimbal with me or whatever this video is going to be. Um, I just have this little thing that I use for taking photos, you know, if I got to put it in the one spot, like a tripod, a little tripod. So I excuse the shakiness. Uh, I was walking up this trail, all right. It's a, it's a trail used by off-road vehicles. Their gravel road is just over there, like a couple of meters, but I decided to go this way. Uh, I'm scouting for a video that is potentially going to take place up there. I'm going up there, basically, to scout this area before I go and make a video and it turns out not to be great. Anyway, long story short, I have come across something on the floor. Also, do you like, do you like my douchebag pro glasses? That's what I call them. The full wraparounds and my boonie hat. But anyway, besides the point, I've come across something that I've seen barely um, on the floor and I'm about to show you and judging by the, the, the name of this video, you're probably going to work out what it is too, but here you go. It is, let me just kneel down here. A spent, uh, sorry. I hope, yeah, it is spent because there's no pin in it and it looks pretty rusted. Green hand SMK, I mean, I would presume that means smoke. SCR, I don't know what that means. Low toxicity. Uh, yeah, it's all bust on the top. So yeah, this is this is spent, I presume. What the hell is in the bottom of this? Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be touching this. Is like a white, white, uh, flaky stuff. It's low toxicity, but yeah, hold on. So let me just Yeah, how the hell did I spot that? I guess I just seen the little chrome lip and I was like, what the hell is this? That's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm supposed to be handling this white stuff, but that's pretty cool. It's all like corroded and stuff. But uh, yeah, the the military do exercises up here, but I never thought that I'd find a smoke grenade. I'll put a picture right here of uh, spent blank ammunition that I've come across before, and I've just taken with me. I wasn't doing YouTube at the time, so I just found it on the floor and uh, brought it with me. But I'm going to go down this trail because that means that they're active on this trail because they don't just take a smoke grenade and toss it over a bunch of trees. Or would they? I don't know. What do you think? It's just weird to come across up the woods. Uh, I thought that they'd have to like pick up this stuff. Or maybe not. I don't know. Pretty cool find for me though. I'm happy with it. Uh, but anyway, we're going to keep on going to the camera. Keep on going to the tip of this over there. And uh, it's a very hot day. I underestimated how hot the sun was going to be. I'm wearing this heavy jacket, but this is actually really good because it's breathable. So I've got the two sides opened up and there's a nice breeze going through. Uh, going through between my stomach and back. Um, this is very cool. I, I'm really excited about this. I'm going to... Uh, I don't know if I can like... I don't think you can like refurbish it, but... I'm definitely going to keep it anyway. It's mine now. I'm going to put it in my pocket. And uh, we'll keep going down along this trail and I'll keep my eye out to see if I can see anything else. That is pretty cool. I just thought there that I I should definitely mention, before I started recording that video, um, I, I had spotted this thing. I walked up to it. I was like, what the hell is that? And uh, I looked at it and I figured out that it was not, in fact, like a real grenade. So I was like, oh, it's a smoke grenade. And then I, then I pressed record just so... Uh, just so you don't think that I went up and tried to pick something up that was like a real grenade. I did spot it, walk up to it, look at it closely and was like, what the hell? And uh, I know what a real grenade looks like. Um, 
and I knew that was like a smoke grenade. So just just for peace of mind also. Tash update. Excuse me? So yeah. Right, this is somehow turning into a video. Um I turned off for a slight detour before I went straight up that mountain just to go down and see this stream that I haven't seen in a very long time and it still looks glorious. Let me show you. So this stream crosses the road. Zoop. But you see it feeds out here, but if you go up a little bit, of course there'll be paper dumped here. Very cool. Look at this. jump across here without getting wet look at that sorry for the intense shaking I uh, I'm walking pretty fast so I gotta get this I gotta get up to the top of this hill and back down so um, yeah this is kind of turned into a video I guess a uh, really nice spot I am also going to, I gotta get to the top of that place, right? That's a matter of fact. I'm gonna come back down the same way, but there's all these little paths. I'm gonna have a look for more like spent shells, anything like that, anything like a smoke grenade, any any cool stuff that I may come across. Uh, I'm gonna go back down that way and like explore a little bit, but I haven't got an awful amount of time. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But other than that, it's my view. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going to the top. I may talk to you at the top actually, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm on the last kind of stretch of this mountain. That's where I found the smoke grenade, was somewhere along that path back there. Yeah, it was like, whoa, I'm pointing way off. Right there. But uh, I just came out this path, came up this path, because I took a detour. And I'm going up this, but as you can see, this is uh, quite steep and it's not easy to walk on these stones so I'm not sure how long I'll be recording for. Right, the wind has calmed down. Well, I've come in out of the way. Oh man, that's sludgy. Um, I went out there to try and get a really, really nice view and uh, the wind was absolutely crazy. So now I'm literally like a couple of meters. I was just standing out right there. Now I'm beside the trees and there's no wind, apart from my boonie looking like an absolute sun hat. Uh, but the part I pointed to over there, I'm gonna, I'll link it anyway. It's uh, it's another peak that we did before and we found an abandoned car, it's pretty cool. There's so much stuff in these woods that you could find, I'm just obsessed with it man. I love going down all these little trails and finding cool stuff. Um, yeah, basically what I'm doing is we went to the peak over there. This is another peak that I just went to. There's another peak over there. There's there's two more peaks and then it's Galti Moor, sorry. So I'm trying to figure out if I can start really early in the morning go from peak to peak to peak to peak to peak to Galti Moor. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And also I fancy to walk, but uh, I didn't anticipate it being this hot in degrees right here and Celsius right here. Uh, I'm gonna look up on my phone actually, how much it is. Or not on my phone, on my watch, hold up. Yeah, it's uh, 22 degrees right now. And there's really, it's like really warm air up here. It's not a cool refreshing breeze. It's like quite stuffy, even though I'm at the top of a mountain. Uh, but I'm going to go back down that path and just walk another path that I haven't been on before. Uh, so hold on. So now that you can see it, let me just zoom in. So we were on this path, which is a dirt road, dirt path for dirt bikes and stuff. 
there's the gravel road so you can see the distance um, but we're going to go back down onto that dirt road again if you can see it was right hold on let me see if i can do this now right there we actually i'm going to circle it in the video it was right there where we uh found the smoke grenade and the gravel road is just out there so also the, the zoom on my phone what the hell that's really good um yeah so i'm done done what i had to do here i've seen that there is in fact a road because i looked at a true uh, google maps on the satellite and i seen that it looks like roads but then the, it happened to us before where we went up and it was actually walls that had been built to keep sheep in years ago um so yeah i just wanted to confirm so i've got another couple of peaks to hit another day and uh then hopefully i'll be able to make a video out of that that'll be a really long walk like terribly long so yeah also there's something really exciting coming in the next week or two um not going to tell you what it is some people know what it is because i was i was talking about it in a live stream i was in before um a couple of weeks ago um but it's uh, yeah it's on the way and it's going to be here and it's going to i think it's going to be a turning point for the channel potentially but uh if you're not subscribed already i'd love if you'd subscribe i'm going to go back down through these paths i don't know if i'm going to record that was dangerous man uh, i don't know if i'm going to record or not because uh I don't like walking with my phone like this because if I trip then my phone is going to get bust and also I'm not paying full attention to the ground which is uneven but I know that once I walk past this tree you're not going to be able to hear me but look at this view you know I love the views look at that amazing and here's me with my orange hat also before you get at me with uh, why you're wearing an orange boonie first of all this is a sick boonie, right? Second of all, these are all air vents, so air shoots through here and keeps my head nice and cool. Third of all, I don't have a camouflage one yet, all right? Or a green one or whatever, a black one. Uh, fourth of all, it protects my entire face from the sun. Fifth of all, if anything happens to me, I've now got a high-vis device to spin. See, if anything happened and I had to call for help for some reason, so there's there's five facts for the boonie I'd like to see you talk shit now but uh, yeah we're gonna head back down off this mountain I uh, didn't plan on this being a video but sure they're the best videos um, anyway I shall see you later on there's a license plate what the hell is this is that a mirror That's a mirror. Why is this woods just littered with stuff? What the hell is this? Rib system roll. There's yellow tape. All right, so there's obviously like a lot of stuff going on around here. So there's a license plate in there. I don't want to go in and see that. <laughs> Two license plates. There's another one. So there's one here, right? One way in there. Now I don't know if you can actually in, but I'm quite crouched, crouched down fully on my knee, hands and knees, crawling in to get these things. Let's see. I think they're probably from the same vehicle because the two of them are wrapped up the same. I'm just going to open it up and see what this is. 96 W2252 Port Lariga plate. That is up the woods in the middle of well it's near it's near a gravel road i guess but i know that there was uh burned out cars here and before and stuff that's weird that the two plates are crunched up and thrown into the woods maybe i'm gonna look this up later on there's all the stuff stuck to my hand also with sap on it ow um so i'm back on the gravel road on the way home um apologies that i don't have my gimbal i didn't really plan on doing a video today um but yeah we found a smoke grenade i'm gonna label the thumbnail as a grenade sorry but i had to do it because of the because of the <laughs> people uh getting clickbaited so i'm just uh on the way back down the woods and i seen this little thing shining so i walked up towards it it turned out to be a can of uh empty can of red bull 
someone had thrown there but then i seen a little jacket thing that was across the way like a black thing i was like what the hell is that about to be this which is oh almost fell bob marley but then it unveiled all this rubbish that somebody had uh, went ahead and dumped here so yeah that makes me upset and if you've ever done this if you've ever dumped rubbish i would love to know why because the cost of uh, bringing it to like a recycling center just more in here it's like all washing machine parts and stuff the cost of going to a recycling center and get rid of this stuff is not that deep i did it in another video i'll link right here um where i went up the woods i packed all this rubbish into a bag i actually went through it all trying to find out who owned it and uh yeah paid for it off my own expense to get rid of it in the recycling center but it wasn't that much it's only a couple of euros like tenner or something um but you're, you're you're bringing your car up here sorry i'm just obsessed with finding stuff now you're bringing your car the whole way up here or van whatever it is jeep to potentially wreck it you're using a lot more fuel because you're climbing a big hill to get to the middle of nowhere you're also taking a chance it just makes no sense and if you've ever done this See, it's always catching my eye, look. It's like an old salt shaker or something. God damn it. If you've ever done this, I invite you to fight. I would like to fight you uh, wherever, whenever you want. And uh, fight to the death. If you've, uh, if you've ever littered up the woods, then hit me up and uh, we will fight. Okay, anyway, that's all I got for you. And I'll uh, see you later.